Hello everyone, I hope you are all well. Welcome back to my channel. I've got a very exciting video for you today. It's all about timeless, classy outfits that you can make out of those capsule wardrobe basics. Now I know I did my summer capsule wardrobe the other week and a lot of those pieces will be featured in the video but I also have some other capsule wardrobe basics that you can turn to time and time again that a lot of you probably already have in your wardrobe. Before we get started, let's talk about hair. Now I get so many questions um, about my hair, which is such a lovely compliment. What I do with it, what products I use, what I ask for at the hairdressers. So I try and get back to as many people as possible, but I thought it was a good time to share it on YouTube, um, what I've been using. So this section of the video is very kindly sponsored by Function of Beauty, um, which I'm really excited to be sharing with you actually. So I've been using their products for a few weeks now, shampoo, conditioner and hair mask. And the whole premise of their branding is that you can tailor the products to exactly your hair type. So you can take an online quiz, I'll just pop it up on the screen so you can see just how easy it is. Um, take the online quiz and then you can put in your different kind of hair types, what you want to get out of the product, what smell you want even, and it really focuses on your hair goals. So I've got my little sheet here that tells you about my hair goals and what I put in to achieve the results that I wanted. So typically I will wash my hair nearly every day. Um, it gets quite greasy quite quickly and I have to keep on top of it. I work out every day, I exercise, I get quite sweaty and hot and then my hair just needs a good wash after that. Um, so it is something I do very regularly. My natural hair type is also very, very straight, like pin straight when I dry it. So I did want something that gives me a bit of volume and that is what I put into my uh, quiz when I took it online. I've also got quite fine hair, but there's a lot of it. So it's quite thick in a sense. And I wanted something that didn't weigh it down because um, a lot of products just make your hair feel quite heavy and greasy so i wanted something to provide a bit of lift and volume while still being quite light and kind of easy to style and not too heavy so in terms of hair goals this is what i picked so one color protection i do highlight my hair so i just want to keep that fresh and lifted um, another one was split ends which I've been finding a few of lately so I just wanted to kind of get on top of that a bit um, which is a bit of a new thing for me I think maybe because we've not been going to the hairdressers as regularly as normal in the past year so I wanted to tackle that oil control like I said it gets quite greasy and the volume too so in terms of fragrance oh my goodness this shampoo and conditioner smells so and my mask smells so good that I really am smelling it the following day still. There are very few products out there where I, I if ever, had that with. Um, so I went for mango. It's summer. I wanted something fresh and light and it smells amazing. I know um, that your hair isn't all about the smell, but to have that extra added bonus of a gorgeous smell, it's just a, such a winner for me. So it's actually called Takes Two to Mango, which I just think is quite fun and cute. Um, but like I say, so nice um, to have that smell. I can smell it now even on your hair. It just makes such a difference. So as you can see, I've been making my way through these bottles for a few weeks now. <laughs> I can actually smell it radiating off the bottles now. It's so nice. Yeah, I've been using them for a few weeks. So I must say that the first thing I noticed about using it, actually like during the use of it, was the volume that it provided straight away. So many conditioners on my hair just make it go way too soft. Um, and that means that I can't get any volume into it at all and it just, drops completely and whilst it's nice to have very smooth and soft hair um, when you are styling it you just need the extra grip and I, I think that's the first thing I noticed like in the shower using it that my hair instantly had a bit more grip to it and um, I can't explain it I think if you go for this kind of product you'll kind of understand what I mean um, but that is something for me that I really prioritized and wanted to get out of this product so it was great to kind of have that instant result from it and I would say that is a real selling point for me of why you should go custom 
um, is that you know everything in the product is tailored to your hair rather than you know you buy one shampoo and it may kind of combat one thing but it doesn't kind of do the overall package and may counteract it in another way if that makes sense so going custom you know that all those boxes are being ticked so of course everything is tested so extensively which is what i love about function of beauty and they never ever test on animals either and everything you know has been so rigorously checked for safety etc that's always i think a great thing to know when you're trying new things on your hair i'm always very conscious of that so for me to know it's gone through all these rigorous tests is a real selling point and they also only use clean ingredients so no toxins sulfates everything is cruelty free um so another of course great point to know so i of course have a discount code for you you need to use the link in the description box below you get 20 percent off your first set of Function of Beauty products. So I hope it's been useful for you to see what I've been using on my hair. I know I get asked all the time, and for me, hair and beauty is, well, it just goes with fashion. That, that to me, if you've not kind of invested in your hair and beauty, then the fashion side just doesn't work either. So it all kind of goes hand in hand for me. So let us get on with the outfits. Timeless, classy outfit ideas from a capsule wardrobe. Let's go. So outfit number one, I think this is actually one of my favourite outfits for quite a long time. I just love everything about it, it feels really effortless. Um, I'm wearing this shirt, this one is from Uniqlo last year, it's their linen shirt. I got this in a size medium but I even think I could have got it in a large just to make it really easy and breezy. So maybe go up at least one size if not two, I'll see if they're still available. I mean. Uniqlo just bring them back time and time again. And then I paired it with this new skirt from Mango, which I'm loving, 19.99 in the Mango sale. Um, such a good bargain. And I feel like I'm going to be bringing this back year after year for time to come. But it's a size small, true to size I would say. Um, it's really comfortable as well. It's really kind of comfortable, soft denim in an off-white shade too, which I think looks really nice with a bright white. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, by the way, I did a whole IGTV guide. It's about two minutes long on how to wear white and the different ways to wear it and what kinds of whites go with your skin tone. I've tried to include different kind of skin tones and what matches that the best and also tips on how to find the white that suits you the best and just what combinations to go with it so go and follow me in there if you don't already um, and then I pop these sandals on these are my Cezanne sandals I think these are still available so comfortable really easy to throw on and they go with everything again another piece that I'll be wearing in years to come um, and then I paired it with this new Demelier bag. I mentioned this the other day, but this part of that, I think it's called Seven Causes, Seven Women, or Seven Women, Seven Causes, um, and they basically are doing a bag for different kinds of causes, and this is to support the black curriculum in the UK, so if you want to find out more, I'll link this so you can um, read about it. They've got some great charities and causes on there, so go and have a look and check them out, but I just think this is such a nice, useful piece just to throw on with everything. It's kind of casual, relaxed, and I love the tan and blacks together, just so chic. And then the tan picks up with this tan in the sandals. So this is outfit one. to show how you could wear this skirt an alternative way again from a kind of timeless capsule wardrobe I paired it with my H&M Bermuda shorts I'll try and find something similar because I think they're sold out now these are just my go-to comfortable shorts so chic really nice kind of city style shorts um, but I'll try and find something similar any black shorts will be perfect with this outfit and then I paired it with this belt to break up the look a bit give it a bit more of a casual feel and a casual colour. I think that's a really good tip in summer if your outfit's feeling a little bit too formal or maybe not quite relaxed enough, pair it with some tan or brown and it really breaks it up and makes it 
look um, more casual and effortless. Um, and I paired it with my Zara slip-on sandals and my oversized basket bag, again, just to give it a really casual um, look because essentially a black shirt, sorry, a black pair of shorts and a white shirt does look quite formal and workwear, but if you want to dress it down, you could just pair it with these casual accessories. And equally, if you wanted to wear this look for work, I think it would be perfect. You could just swap out the shoes for some ballet flats or some loafers to make it a little bit more formal. have a little bit of camel and black for you um, I think this kind of timeless capsule wardrobe idea really centrals around some basic neutrals blacks greys tans you know all those kind of neutral subtle shades in the block colors as well and um, it's just really easy to combine with each other and it can really maximize your wardrobe the more of those pieces that you invest in um, I love a bit of pattern and print every now and again, a little bit of colour, especially for summer. I have been branching out into those, but in terms of really honing in on your capsule wardrobe, um, I would suggest going for these kind of tones and colours. I've got these linen trousers on from Karen Millen. They're like a light kind of sandy camel shade. Um, they're like a, they're not a complete wide leg, but they are a little bit wider. Really comfortable Zara bodysuit, that classic bodysuit that so many people have, just works really well with this. Any vest top would work well with this though, um, if you suit a lower neckline, um, then I think that would be very interchangeable. My strappy sandals are from Zara several years ago, but I'll try and find something similar. My pull-in bag, and I think, like I said about the vest, if you have variations of these pieces, you can create a similar kind of look. It doesn't have to be these exact trousers. Um, you could have a similar wide leg pair in a cream and you could wear this or um, in a grey, whatever. So make sure you are thinking about ways you can adapt these looks from your own existing wardrobe. Um, and then just pop my sunnies with it. And I love a good camel or sandy coloured basic outfit. To these knit skirts lately if you saw me on Instagram last week I wore them uh, I actually wore I've got two of these skirts I've got one in the beige and one in the more whitey tone they're both in pretty lavish lovely quality by the way so I wore the one in the daytime with like a shirt and then I wore one in the evening we went to watch football and I paired the whiter one with a white shirt and my bomber jacket for a more casual look. They're just really nice to strike that balance between casual but they're kind of dressy at the same time and I love that juxtaposition in one skirt. I love like the split. It can be quite glamorous if you could dress this up for night but for this outfit I thought I'd dress it down and I've got this plain white t-shirt on my knotty sandals from Russell and Bromley. And then what I've wanted to do is pair it with black and show you how, just because you're not wearing any black, you can still pair something with black. So I've gone for this Arquette bag. Now I think alone, this would look quite dark by itself, but pairing it with some sunglasses in the same shade just brings it together and makes it a little bit more cohesive. And I just think this is a really nice look Warm day, throw it on, smart casual, and you are good to go.
not do a jeans and a white t-shirt look. I've got these old jeans on. These are from Zara a while ago. Zara do the best denim, I think, on the high street. Oh, actually, Mango do good denim as well. Just really easy to throw on. Um, I'll see if I can find something similar. And I've got these Chanel flats on. They're just kind of elevate the outfit in my opinion, my Bottega bag. I always like to combine my very casual, maybe high street basics with a few um, high-end accessories, just to kind of give it a bit of a punch and elevate it a bit, but I mean, you don't need to do that. I think you can find some amazing accessories on the high street, just be careful about quality and fabric that they use, but you can definitely find some great pieces. Um, I've got this t-shirt on again. I think this is my Arquette thinner version one. I'll link it below. My Bottega bag, just to bring in the light sandy shade, actually the bag is almond to the outfit and it's got the same in the shoes. Black sunglasses, again, just to go with the toe cap of the shoes. It's just a really simple, easy, elegant outfit to throw on. And then if you needed a jacket over the top, you could put anything with this from a leather jacket to a blazer to a cardigan, jump around your shoulders, shacket, you know, there's so many things you can pair with this look. be quite formal but I thought I'd show you how you can dress them down again maximizing the wardrobe that you may already have if you've got something a bit similar to this or even in a different color this technique definitely works for a more formal style skirt just pairing it with a very slouchy knit is a really easy way to combat the more formal style um, and I've done that throughout the rest of the outfit as well Basically, do everything you can um, to wear something more casual um, through the other parts of the outfit. And I love that contrast you create then. Um, so I'm wearing this uh, knit from Arquette. This is last year, but I'll, again, try and find something similar. Um, but you could use any knit for this. A stripe knit would work really well. Any kind of knit, I think. Something that's a bit chunky and slouchy. Um, would work or equally a t-shirt if you're in a warmer place. My basket bag again just provides that more dress down feel and my chunky Grenson sandals. They're kind of timeless in the colour but they just give it a modern spin with them being quite chunky and I think that's another thing to note. This skirt's quite formal and timeless so maybe just by popping it with something a bit more modern like some chunkier sandals or a really oversized basket bag that's so in at the moment then it makes it work for everyday casual. as much as the next person and especially in summer I just feel like it's the quintessential summery timeless piece. A really great way to do stripe is one with denim but also with some white and tan. I just think it looks so chic and timeless um, and I paired it here with these pretty lavish trousers. They're like a kind of straightish wide leg. Um, they're also, again, really comfortable. And a great one, I think, just to dress up a piece like this. And then I've gone for these tan accessories. I just think this is a really nice daytime shopping kind of outfit. I've got my Demelier, new Demelier bag on, which is just so nice. I love this style and shape. And um, it's like quite relaxed, but also feels quite formal at the same time in a weird, kind of way um, and this gorgeous kind of tanny caramelly colour and then again I've gone for my um, tan sandals from Cezanne just to bring it all together and like I say I love that tan with the stripes and the white again I think the tan dresses it right down and makes it more casual um, but yeah I love this look I think it's a really nice easy summer one. with 
with the striped top in a slightly more casual, slightly more summery kind of way. Um, and I've gone for these camel shorts with it. Again, a bit like the tan. I just love this contrast between the warmer shade with the stripes. Um, and then I've gone for my chunky mango sandals. These are black. I definitely think you can mix navy and black. This top, by the way, is from an independent store in France, so you can't actually go and buy it. I'll link something similar. Loads of these kind of tops available. I love the kind of square boat neck on this. And my pull-in bag, just to tie it all together. And again, a timeless combination is navy, white, and a kind of light beige tan shade like this. shorts on but I've gone for a shirt this time but you could go for any color of shirt classic white shirt would be another timeless way to wear this but I've just gone for this blue lightweight one from um, Forth and Reckless I don't think it's available but again we'll link something similar my Chanel flats um, and then again just to tie in the black I've gone for the black accessories with my Arquette bag which by the way is in the sale such a useful piece to have and yeah it's just a really comfortable easy throw on one and this kind of look will never ever go out of style. watching everyone don't forget hit the subscribe button really would be very much appreciated also don't forget to use your discount code for the function of beauty products and i will see you in my next one bye